What's up, folks? <laughs> <laughs> everyone and welcome to another episode of marketing for coaches with the googly eyed michael and regular eyed kevin so if i take my glasses off it's squinty eyed kevin my i they, they look they look tiny they look beady they look like i'm up to something nefarious but like low level crime nefarious not anything like you know earth shattering shattering but see normal i look normal welcome <laughs> to a show that will have a point, I promise you, because we're going to talk about one of our favorite subjects, even though we don't always frame it this way. But I mean, we're a branding and marketing agency. We talk about, you know, half of that all the time, branding. And one thing I, I just love to noodle on is how so many people think they know what branding is. And most people have less than a zero of an idea. <laughs> it's so funny when you have someone try to define it. And I like trying to find shorthands that really get right at the heart of what branding really means, what it is, and how it can, and then you can start and figure out how it manifests in your business, in your marketing, in everything that you're doing and saying. And the way I've I've recently been kind of framing it is your brand is your character. Now, I'm gonna let you riff on that for for a minute or two, Michael, because this is, I know this is kind of near and dear to your heart too, and near and dear to like the foundational values of Boxer and how we approach things like this. So speak on your brand as your character. Can we talk first about short hands? <laughs> I have no response to that. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so yeah. So, I mean, branding is, branding is definitely something that I think confuses and confounds a lot of people, specifically business owners, entrepreneurs, <laughs> Excuse me. I think a lot of people definitely when they think about branding, what is brand? They're thinking like they're thinking they're thinking logo. They're thinking what is they're, they're, think, they're thinking colorway, right? They're thinking which is which is your, your colors, right? Your your brand's colors, colorway. Um, maybe they're thinking uh, typeface, right? What font do they use? And they're thinking like that's that's how you build your brand. Those are assets. Those are not your brand. Okay. Um, other people, when they think about branding, they they might think of, you know, I don't know, something out of Mad Men maybe or something where it's like this thing, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, you know what I mean? Where there's like where there's like a team of of New York City's finest minds gathering in a room over a delicious bottle of whiskey. Um <laughs> Which is totally untrue because, if I recall correctly, Don Draper drank uh, Canadian whiskey, which tastes watered down to me. Canadian rye is what he liked. <laughs> I digress. I, yeah, you digress. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not. Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, what did you call it? Character. Yeah, character, and I, I, like you can call it personality too. But I like I like character because it's essentially what you stand for. It's an expression of everything that who you are and who you want yeah. to be in the world. Yeah, I, I definitely when when I think about it, I think of per personality, you know, a brand is is is, is a personality. Um, and, and no matter how hard you try, you don't get the privilege of defining your brand. There you go. Mm -hmm. You don't get to do that. Your brand is is your brand is how your company, your business, you, if you're a coach, right? Um, how you are perceived in the hearts and the minds of the marketplace, right? Of, of your clients, of your ideal clients, of your prospects. Um, yeah. It's kind That's of what, kind of... what it boils down to, isn't it? And it's like, it's like, I know we, we've been, uh, we've been studying a book as a team uh, called uh, branding and branding and BS. I'll say BS instead of the full title, which might be a little, you know, rated PG 13, but it's an excellent book all about this kind of topic. And one thing that the uh, the author hits on rather regularly is that point exactly where it's like, your brand isn't what you think it is, <laughs> it's what they feel it is. And that, that's real super duper shorthand for they being like, essentially your, your target market, your ideal clients, because those are the people whose perceptions of you and feelings about you are going to matter. And what you want to do as someone who is trying to build your brand, when, when, you, when people throw out phrases like build your brand, that phrase, you know, it seems like it means everything and nothing <laughs> and everything in between. But building your brand is essentially about communicating 
your character, translating your personality in a way through your business and through your marketing that reaches the people you want to reach and allows them to see you, to perceive you in the way that you want them to perceive you Mm -hmm. as a prelude to a relationship. That relationship being, you know, business. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> Plain and simple business with the S's on the end are dollar signs. I might I might, I might, I might type that out in the in the description just so you get a, a visual. But yeah, <laughs> it really is that simple. Um, Kevin, would you would you give me permission to share my screen real quick? We're in oh. we're in Zoom. I'm not sure if I've got that. This will I'll, I'll keep this I'll keep this brief. We have we have a uh, a little branding cheat sheet uh, that I made at Boxer a couple years back. I want to share a couple pages with you guys and then we'll Kevin, can we get uh, a link to this maybe in the show notes as well? Okay. I think that would be awesome. Let me know. know It says all participants can share. So you should be able to. uh... Awesome. So this is, this is pretty much it. This is just like, again, it's just a short little cheat sheet, about six pages long. And uh, what I want to share with you guys is right here. So this is kind of what we were talking about, right? Mm-hmm. Your trade branding is not your trademark. That's a legal property. Branding is not your mission statement. That's a reminder. Branding is not your logo or your slogan. Those are your company's signatures. Branding is not your products or services. Those are your deliverables. Branding is not an advertisement. Those are vehicles which deliver your message. Branding mm-hmm. is the perception of your company within the hearts and minds of the market. No more, no less. Boom. Um, so anyways, this is a cool little document, guys. Uh, we'll 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 link to this in the uh, in the show notes. You can you can download it and check it out. Um, and it's just kind of a, a neat little branding cheat sheet that'll kind of get you headed the right direction. We at Boxer, of course, we think branding is super important. Um, I've been you know I've been in marketing myself for over a decade now, um, and you know branding is what separates the big players from the small ones. If you if your brand is good, you can remove the sales process. Um, that's mm-hmm. really, really big for coaches because if people know, like, and trust you, your brand, um, then you're going to be on less sales calls and you're just going to be contacted. You know, when, when people are ready for your coaching, ready to work with you, they'll just email you or message you on LinkedIn or however they get a hold of you. And they're just going to say, Hey, I've got a need. I've already, you know, I've seen your, your, your content on social media. I've seen your brand out there. Um, and I know I want to work with you because I've already been exposed to it. So Mm -hmm. that's it. That's it for me. I don't want to, I don't want to digress too much. It could, it can be summed up in in like 60 seconds and we could spend all day talking about it, which is why we love this topic so much and why we devote so much attention to it. It's very easy to distill and to understand and to process. And then you spend, you could spend your entire life, the the entire life of your business, molding it and shaping it and forming it and learning new things about it. Um, It's, it's one of the reasons why I'm so, so fascinated by it. Like it's, it's probably the part of, of the whole branding and marketing business that gets, it's like, gets me genuinely excited all by itself. Cause it's like this beautiful, simple puzzle that you can spend your entire life learning about and, you know, never get bored, but that's a conversation for another time. I just, I'm, I, I just want to shine as much light as possible on, on this idea. Cause it's so crucial to coaches in particular who largely are their brand mm-hmm. <laughs> and translating that in a way that's going to grow their businesses. I mean, it's what we're here to do. So anyway, I will stop tooting boxer's horn. um, And we will talk to you again here very soon.